10 amazing masking effects to try in CapCut. So let's get into the video. So this are the footages I will be using for this tutorial. Just download a world map, a plane with no background and a location icon. First import your world map to your main track. So I want my map to have a black black ground, so I will remove the background using the chroma key. Now add your location icon to the timeline. Resize it and place it at where you want. So I will place mine at Australia. Then make a duplicate and place it at another location. So you can make as many duplicate as you want. So I will place my second location at Canada. So go to text and add a default text to the timeline. Then extend to match your footages on the timeline. Now go to the text area and type dash as many as you want. Rotate it to be in between your location. Now under text scroll down till you find curve. Select curve. And as you can see our dash line is curved. You can also adjust it to how you want it to be. Or you can also keep it straight. Now position it very well and delete some of the dash. So I want my dash line to be behind the location. So I will just move it on the timeline below the location icon. Now it's time to mask our line, so right click on the text, and click on create compound clip. Then when you are done go to video, click on mask, and select horizontal mask. So rotate your mask until your dash disappear, just the way I have done mine. Now add your first keyframe. Then move to where you want your animation to end, then rotate your mask till it appears again and CapCut will automatically add a keyframe for you. So let's play our animation and see. Now add your plane to the timeline. Now resize it and place it at where the dash line animation starts. So mine start at Australia so I will place mine there. Now we are going to make an animation with the plane using keyframe. So go to the start of the footage and add your first keyframe. Now move your plane to follow the line animation. Now let's play our video and see. So you can edit your footages, like adding animations, filters and even effects. So I will be using this video for this tutorial, import it to the timeline. So you can trim all the part you don't need. So I will trim all this part off. Now we have to make a duplicate of our footage so just hold the Alt key on the keyboard, the click and drag your footage on top, to create a duplicate. Then remove the background of the duplicated clip. So go to remove background and select auto removal. Wait for a while for CapCut to remove the background for you. After your background is removed you can also use the custom removal, to select parts that the auto removal couldn't select and click on apply. Now go to stock materials and add a white background footage to the timeline. So the white background is a bit short, so I will trim my footages to match it. Now position the white background footage in between your footages. Now go to mask and select mirror mask. Now click and drag the feathering icon to add some feathering to the white background. And as you can see our fog effect is already creating, but wait we are not done yet. Now go to basic and scroll down to blend, and reduce the opacity a bit. Let's play our video and see. So just play around with the opacity and the feathering until you get what you want. You can also add so adjustment to spice things up. Import the footage to the timeline and trim off the part you don't want off. Now go to video, click on mask and select mirror mask. So as you can see our black bar has been created. But it's time to create our animation. So just open up your mask till it's out of frame. Then add your first keyframe. Then move a couple of frames. Then close up your mask to create the black bar opening animation. So I want to blur the face of this man. 
so just import your footage to the timeline. Then trim the part you don't want off if there is the need to do so. Then make a duplicate of your clip, so just hold the Alt key and drag and drop on top of the footage to create a duplicate. Now we will add a blur effect to our duplicated clip. So go to effect and search blur, then add it to your duplicated clip. Then you can increase the blur to the way you want. Now select your duplicated clip, go to mask and select circle mask. Now position it at where you want. You can also increase the size or even feather the edges a bit. And because our object is not stable we need our blur to follow the object and we are going to use keyframe for this. So scroll down and add a keyframe at position. Then adjust the mask as the object moves and CapCut will automatically add a keyframe for you. So you will have to do this to the end. So import your first footage to the timeline. And I am going to use the tree passing in front of the screen to create the transition. So make a duplicate of your footage. Then remove the background. And since this is not a person we have to use the custom removal. So select custom removal. Then draw over the object to select it. So when you are done, wait for a while for the background to be removed. Then click on apply. Now import your second clip, then put it in between your two clips. Move to where you want to start your transition. Then go to mask then select horizontal mask, rotate you mask and place it at where the trees start passing in front of the camera. Then add your first keyframe. Adjust your mask to follow the tree. Go to stock material and import a black background to the timeline. Then go to text and add a default text. Then extend it to match your background. Now go to the text area and type anything you want. So I will just type cinematic. You can resize it, change the color and font. Right click on the text and create a compound clip. Now go to mask the select mirror mask. Then rotate it just the way I have done mine. Then close your mask. Move your mask all the way to the left top corner. Then add your first keyframe. Now move a couple frames then move your mask to the right. Move a couple of frames again and move to the left. Forward another frames again and move your mask to the middle. Then move another frames and open up the mask to reveal the text. So if you have issues with the masking animation, you can select your keyframe individually and adjust your mask. So I have a video of someone running from one frame to the opposite frame and that's what I am going to use for this tutorial. So I will import to the timeline. Now go to text and add a default text to the timeline. Then extend it to match the main footage. Then go to the text area and type what you want. So I will type running. Then resize your text and place it at where you want. And you can also change the color, font and also add animation if you want. Now make a duplicate of your clip and place it on top of your text. Select your duplicate clip hold the Alt key on the keyboard then drag and drop to create the duplicate. Go to remove background, then select auto removal to remove the background. Then wait for a while for the background to be removed. Now it's time to mask our text, so right click on your text and create a compound click. Then go to video, click on mask, then select horizontal mask, then rotate it 90 degrees. Then place it at where the object is appearing from, then add your first keyframe. Adjust your mask to follow your object as it moves to create the text wipe effect. Import your footage to the timeline, then trim all the part you don't want off. Then create a duplicate. So just copy and paste, then place it on top of your main clip. Now select your duplicated clip, then go to remove background, and select auto removal then wait for the background to be removed. Now select your footage on your main layer, then go to mask then select mirror mask. Now open up your mask till it's out of frame, then add your first keyframe. Then move a couple of frames to where you want your animation to end, then close up your mask to create this black bars behind your object. Move a couple of frames again and add a keyframe, then move another couple of frames again and open up your animation.
import your footage to the timeline, then make a duplicate of your footage. So copy and paste it on top of your main footage. Now select your duplicated clip, then go to adjustment. Then add some adjustment to the footage, make sure it becomes darker. When you are done go to video, click on mask then select circle, then resize and place it at where you want it. Then click on the reverse button to reverse the mask, then you can add some feathering to your mask. Go to stock material then add a black background to the timeline. Then go to text and add a default text to the timeline, then extend it to match your black background. Then go to the text area and type what you want so I will type fusion, then change the font and resize it a bit. Make a duplicate of your text, so hold the Alt key on the keyboard, then drag and drop it on top, to create a duplicate. Then move your text below the main one. You can change the color or leave it as it is, but I will change it to ash. Then when you are done right click and create a compound clip. So now we want our text to be positioned upside down, so click on mirror. Then rotate your footage 180 degrees and place it under the main text. Now go to video click on mask then select horizontal mask, then rotate it 180 degrees, then add some feathering to create the reflection effect. These are 10 amazing masking effects to try in CapCut. So if you find this video useful, kindly subscribe, like and leave a comment. See you in the next video.